Why Yahweh shot? All right. So I'm just giving you a, a demonstration, and that's a scripture that this brother is reading. Go ahead, brother. Second Kings one verse twelve. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of God, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty. And the fire of God came down from heaven and mm -hmm. consumed him and his fifty. Verse thirty. And he sent again a captain of the third fifty with his fifty. And the third captain of the fifty went up and came and fell on his knees before Elijah. That's my one. And besought him and said unto him, O oh man of God, I pray thee, let my life and the life of these fifty thy servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, there came fire down from heaven and built up the two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Wow, that's, that, that, that's a sight to see, man. That's a sight to see, man. See the fire come down and burn your enemies. And that's what's going to happen to us in the kingdom, man. We're going we're gonna to pour down the elements. And we're, we're going to execute our enemies, man. You know what I'm saying? If we keep doing the work of the Lord. And so the most I said for us to be what? Unmovable. And we got to wait so the most High renew our strength. You know? Read Behold, there came fire down from heaven, fire down from heaven, and burnt up the two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let my life not be precious in thy sight. And the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down with him. Yeah, because Yahweh had Elijah back. That's right. So it goes to show us that we ain't supposed to be afraid of nobody out here, man. That's right. Because the Most High is with us. The Most High is with us, man. Yeah, you know? That's right. The Most High is with us. Who could be what? Against us. And the scripture said, do my, pro do my prophets no harm. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, now, let's go to Revelation 11, 6. So I'll prove my point about, you know, how he caught fire from heaven and so on. These are power to shut heaven. That's the rain, not in the days of their prophecy. Okay. And have now, read that one more time, brother. Read Revelation chapter 11, verse 6. Come on. These have power to shut heaven. That it not rain, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy. And have power over waters to turn them to blood. And to smite the earth with all the plagues as often as they will. So once again. God, why your house is giving an example of what we're going to be able to do using what? The prophets of the Lord or what they did in the past. Okay? Now, I think it's, um, for, give me 1 Kings, dear real brother. 1 Kings 17, 17, 1 through 6. 1 Kings, 1 Kings 17, 1 through 6. 1 Kings. One battery left. One battery left? Yeah. Alright, first keys. Seven. Seventeen, one to six. Yeah, go ahead. And Elijah, the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitant of Elad, said unto Ahab, As Yahweh power of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be no dew, no rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, and, and you see Elijah uh, prophesied that, man. Ain't gonna be no damn rain, man. No rain, King. No rain, man. No knowledge, no Another example of how this prophet controlled the element and so on through what? Through Yahweh Yahusha. Because Yahweh Yahusha gonna be with us at all times, man, in the kingdom, at all times. Okay? We ain't gonna be able to go off, man. The is gonna be what in our spirit, man. And the most I say, he gonna give us a double portion in the kingdom, huh? So all that thing you seeing, the 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 Avengers, the uh, oh, what's that? Batman versus uh, Superman. All that, those are us, man. 
goes to us. And he so knows us, man. We're gonna be greater than that, man, because they carnal. He said, your eyes can't see. No eyes have seen on eyes here. Come. Read that, bro. Verse 3. Get thee hence and turn thee eastward and hide thyself by the brook Cherry. Mm -hmm. That is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And I have commanded the raven to feed thee there. So he went and did a Damn, man, they commanded the raven. The raven, That'll the bird fed, fed on Elijah, man. The bird fed, fed Elijah, man. And that's good bread too. They ain't talking about these damn hot breads you see in the supermarket with enriched flour, bleach, flour, and uh, with a hydrogenated oil with sugar in it. That's bullshit bread, man. I'm talking about some pure bread, man. The bread that you're gonna teach in the camp, eat in the kingdom, man, it's gonna rejuvenate you, man. It's gonna rejuvenate you, man. The, the, the bread of the heathens, man, it, it, it takes away your energy after a while, man. That's right. That's right. It takes away your energy after a while. It might it might be good for a moment, and after a while, the whole, you know what I'm saying? It drains you out, and it gives you inflammation in your body also. And the bread that we eat, it does not have fiber in it. They stripped away the fiber from the bread, from bread which is the seed, the seed of the wheat holds the oil. And Esau stripped away the seed, the wheat germ, from the, the wheat and give you white bread. And there's no fiber. That's why it takes long to go down. But Esau put hydrogenated oil so it could have a long shelf. So it could, it could be on the shelf for a long time. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see hydrogenated oil in all their fruit powder so it can stay long on the shelf in the supermarkets. And that's why he's the damn devil. Okay? Go ahead, bro. So he went and did according unto the word of Yahweh. Uh -huh. For he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And the raven brought him bread and flesh in the morning. Damn, man, imagine that. You hungry and the bread just bring you, damn, some nice food. Raven, how about you? Bring me, bring me a slice of pizza. And, oh man! Because you know, in the kingdom, you're gonna be able to control the animals too. That's what it came over the movie called Doctor Dulu. We gonna have those powers, and Esau knows this, and that's why it came over Aquaman. We gonna be able to control the the, the animals in the sea, man. Huh? We gonna be riding on dolphin backs, like yeah, take me there. You know what I'm saying? All right, that was my book too. Man, the spiritual powers are gonna be beautiful, man. And you got seven day Venice saying, we are in the kingdom, we in the kingdom. Get the fuck out of here. This can't be no damn kingdom. Waking up with foot ache, back ache. And this is the king of powerless? Kingdom of your power. You gonna work in the morning? I can't even jump over this damn building. Minimum wage. We're for minimum wage, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nobody keeping the laws. Seven day Venice said, We are in the kingdom. And, and a woman ruling in the kingdom. Yeah. Get the hell out of here, man. Woman like you got women got hair weaves. They don't got their real hair. Like and these black bitches bald, huh? In the kingdom. This is not the kingdom, man. You got bitches with hair weaves, man. When you're making love to them, shit, they're here in your house. Oh, oh shit! You trying to put the damn hair right back on their scalp, man? Right? You can't run, run your fingers through their scalp. Sorry, sorry, son. You can't run your finger through their scalp, man. Right? Thick hair, thick, thick nails. Bro, girl, let me run my fingers through your hair, girl. Well, we the kick, girl. She well, got monster trap. They got shells in it. I'm like, damn. I like that so. Yeah, that me so. <laughs> oh god. Oh damn. Oh. My head itching. Wash your hair, damn it! Take all that weed for the grand shampoo. Damn, man. They got those big nails. Man, somebody want a real man. The eyelashes fake. The ass is fake. The titties is fake. 
Everything is fake. Well, you want a real man. Get the hell out of here, man. You a cop, man? You fall in a weak leader. Yeah? Get out from that shit that you in. Now they got these niggas leader. with these mohawks. Every time Sean Diddy went, ran that marathon, Sean Diddy had that mohawk. Now everybody got mohawks. Looking like a damn rooster, man. What the hell is going on, huh? Yeah. This is one of the security guard. The dude came with a mohawk, huh? He had design on this side, design on this side. I say, brother, this is out of love. But do you have that receipt for the haircut? You can't get your money back. Everybody was crying in the damn on the store, okay? Yeah. Anyway, let me go back to the back here. Now, what was it? Uh, uh, I was it. Go ahead. All right, now we made our point there. Right, let's go back yeah, to Robert. Yeah. Um, No, 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 Exodus, Exodus 7, verse 19. Give me that, Exodus 7, verse 19. Because we, 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 going through the scriptures of what the prophets did back then. And that's what the Mosai said, we're going to be able to control the rain, and, and we're going to spew fire out. So we just give an example of what the prophets did back then. But the fire is, is the word of the Heavenly Father, is the word of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That's the fire that we spewing out here, man. Okay? Exodus 7. What, 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 what? What's sackcloth? We are the witnesses. Okay, no. What, 7 verse 19? Yeah, Exodus 7, 7 verse 19. Exodus 7 Tragic verse 19. Star. And this is what Moses did. Alright? And the Lord spake unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Come on! Take thy rod, and stretch out thy hand upon the waters of Egypt, uh -huh. upon the streams, upon the rivers, Come on and upon the ponds, and upon all the pools of water, that they may become blood, and that there may be blood throughout all the land of Egypt, both in vessels of wood and in vessels of stone. So Moses, what? He put a staff in that water, and the, and the water turned to what? The blood. And all the fishes, you know, um, came up because that was part of the Egyptian diet was what? Fish. You know what I'm saying? And the Most High took their food. He destroyed their what? Their, their crops. Or the, or the locusts. It's, it's amazing how much locusts can consume, man. One locust can consume a lot of food, man. That thing is small. And that's one of the reasons why the Most High said we can eat locusts. Because they eat what? They eat off the wings and we can eat it, man. Yeah. Yeah, too. Huh? Johnny Baptist, yeah. That's right. Give me Micah 3 verse 8, man. Micah 3 verse 8. Micah 3 verse 8. Come on, read that for me, bro. Micah 3 and 8. Yeah, go ahead. It says, Even of late my people is risen up as an enemy. You need what? Micah 3 8? It's a lucky. It's a lucky. It says, But truly, I am full of power uh -huh. by the spirit of Yahweh. I stop right there. Micah said, man, he's truly full of what? Of the power of who? Of Yahweh. And when we get our strength back, we're going to be full of that power, man. We're going to be so strong, it's going to be unbelievable, man. The earth is sort of going to be from the hips. Come on, broke up the neck. Give me 2 Timothy, stop right there, um, call. give me 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. Battery's red. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7, 7 through 8, man. We're going to be full of that power, man. You know? 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Yep. It says, For Yahweh hath not given us the spirit of fear, uh -huh. but of power, and strong, and of love, and of peace of mind. That's right, bro. Yeah. So the I hear with the power of uh, 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 fear, right, bro? What a sound mind. It's power. You know? These niggas gotta play their fucking music. What the fuck y'all want to bring out real quick? What a camera, what a camera, what a camera, what a camera. I think it's worth a massage, man.
Billy Wish was out of his body. With the Masala Miss Five. Let's go with that noise up. The camera, the battery about to go though. You're right. I paused it for a minute. I said it's actual uh, controller elements of the world. Uh, give me all. Uh, with the Masala Miss Five. Uh, start at 19, huh? With the Masala Miss Five. At 19. Yeah, go ahead. You shall take one. Target mark that the Most High got, and he gonna bring ICBMs and send ICBMs to America, man. Because what is the mother of what of Harley? Go ahead, Ah. And here's Slapia, and here's stones full of wrath shall be cast out of a stone bow, and the water of the sea shall rage against them, uh -huh. and the floods shall cruelly drown them. That's right. Go ahead. Yeah. A mighty wind shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealing shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. That's right. Okay, so it's going to be storms, hailstones, and so on, on, on that particular day. You know, but we're going to be able to control the elements. Okay. Oh, what's that? Sound, the sound of life? The sound of life? The sound of the sound? The light is faster than the sound? Many countries uh -huh. and against great kingdoms. Jeremiah of war. 20, right? 8 through 9? Yeah. Jeremiah 20? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, since I speak. What, which is a good scripture, by the way. Go ahead. Well, since I speak, I cried out. I cried violence and spoil. Uh -huh. Because the word of the Lord was made a reproach unto me. Yeah, come on. And a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him. Uh -huh. Or speak anymore in his name. Come on now. But his word was in my heart. The word was what? In my heart. Uh -huh. And as a burning fire shut up in my bones. Yeah, that word is like it's burning. It's, even though Jeremiah didn't want, want to speak. But when you are called and when you are uh, in, in, in your life, that that word is going to be burning in what? In your bones, man. All, all these days I was thinking about like coming out. Damn, I can't wait to go on the street. Damn, I can't wait. Because it's burning what in your spirit, huh? If it's not burning in your spirit, that means you're not you're not the man of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you. I forgot you want to release some tension out here too. I forgot. I'm gonna give you the mic. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, huh? And I was weary with forbearing, and I could not stay. Uh -huh. For I heard that in the fearing of many. Fair on every side. That's right, the fame of many are on every side. That's all. Not ten. I stop, stop right there. I, like uh, I just want to bring a point out that fire is in your in your bones and you just like it. it's in you. 
Yeah, bring that out. This um, is, um, before that, give me second Ezra 14. And I might have to do a part two to this lesson. So we're going to stop right there. But you got the, you got the, the magnitude of it. Um, what you got, bro? This is Isaiah 59 and 17. Yeah, go ahead. It says, For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and the helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garment of vengeance mm. for clothing and was clad with the zeal as a cloak. Was clad with what? That zeal, zeal man. And once that word of fire, that word come into you, you just got a, that zeal, that, that cloak of zeal, man. You want to come out and just bring this truth, bring this knowledge, man. Go on, on tell your boss. Don't go and tell your boss. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I got a powerful scripture and um, we'll finish with, with you, bro. I might do a part two to this. Ezra. Yeah, second Ezra. 14. 14. Second Ezra. Starting at 34. Give me um, Second Ezra. Chapter 14. That's 34. Yeah. Second Ezra 14, starting at verse 34. Everybody there? Okay. Second Ezra chapter 14 verse 34. Therefore, if so he that he will subdue your own understanding and reform your heart. Yeah, because when you come to the truth, you're gonna be reformed. You, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be become a new creature. I talked to my auntie, my aunt today in the Bronx, New York. She saw one of my pictures because my cousin came out here. My cousin saw my picture to her. She's like, damn, she's like, you are, you are, you are a different man. You don't, you don't, you don't look like that same man. You are different. You're you gonna be, you're gonna be reformed. Go ahead. You and, shall and let's get proof on on reform. Give me wisdom of Solomon nine verse eighteen. Give me that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 9 verse 18. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 18. Yeah, go ahead. It says, uh, For so the way of them Come on. which live on the earth uh -huh. will reform. That's right. So when you come in this truth, you're going to be what? You're going to be reformed. You got more on that out? I just say anybody from here. Yeah, I was like, yeah. And also, you're going to be purged with that hyssop. Go ahead. Uh, and men will talk the things that are pleasing unto thee and will save through wisdom. And save through what? Uh? Wisdom. And you're going to be saved through wisdom, man. You know, you, you're going to be purged, man. All the wickedness that you was doing in the world, even in the truth, you're going to be purged while you're in the truth, man. Like, Damn, I was doing that? Hey, man, it's the water for letting me know. You know? And that's why scripture says you gotta confess thy force to one another, man. Because we, we all striving for that perfection, man. And whatever comes our way, affliction and tribulation, we gotta go through it. But when we go through affliction and tribulation, we just become better. And it's truth, man. Because the most high is removing that dross from that, from that gold. Because our, our gold gotta be what? Purified. Now go ahead, um, Maria. He shall be kept alive, and after death he shall obtain mercy. Mm. And after death you shall what? Obtain mercy. Yeah, because the old man is put to death. That old man is put to death, man. And that's how you're going to obtain mercy, man. And I know, I, know, I know a lot of your brothers know some scriptures on that topic. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. We're still fine. Come on. For after death shall the judgment come. Uh -huh. When we shall live again. Woo, come on. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest. Uh -huh. And the works of the ungodly shall be declared. Mm. Let no man therefore come unto me now. Nor seek after me these 40 days. Go ahead. So I took the five men as he commanded me. Come on. And we went into the field and remained there. Come on, brother. And the next day, behold, a voice called me, saying, Ezra, 
open thy mouth and drink that I give thee to drink. He said, open thy mouth and drink what? That I give thee to drink. That I give thee to drink. Let's see.